Hello friends, welcome. Now let's finish our uh, grad for categories and posts in our project using the split component. So here we have the split uh, table component. In new category we have form component. Also here is the link component. And on the edit also the form component. And here is the link component. Very good, the same we have for the post. So we can create a new category, show all the, all the categories, edit the category. Now let's add a link or a button to delete the category and the same for the post. For that, uh, I'm going to use the link from split. So if you go to the split and in the components, we have the link component and we have read about this one using in the previous video. So what I'm going to do, um, here we have the confirmation, if we want to add a confirmation, and you may customize the confirmation dialog. So let's copy this. And let's open the index inside the categories first. And here we have the table, and we have the cell for action, which means this action here, this cell here and uh, we bind the category and we added the link for the edit now let's add this link for delete what we have copied there and if i come here we have the danger zone just change this to be delete yeah now also let's change the look so let's add a class here we we'll add a class to be text red uh, 400 or 600 and on hover also let's change that to be text red 400 and also I'm going to add the font semi bold because we have added also in the edit and if I save yeah we have similar good next uh, next I'm going to change the confirmation instead of the enter the danger zone I'm going to say delete category also are you sure it's okay confirmation button just yes not something like this and for the cancel button I'm going to say cancel and if I say, yeah, delete category, are you sure? Yes, cancel. Good. Now let's change also the shref. And for that, I'm going to say wrote uh, categories destroy, and we need to add the category ID, and we have the category here. Okay, as you can see, so we can use that category to add the category ID here. Now, if I save as it is right now, and just let's see what is going to happen. If I say D yes, the category controller show does not exist. So we don't have the, the, the destroy, but the show, and that's it because the method is not delete here we need to specify the method also. And for that, let's come here and add also the method, which is going to be delete. And let's see now if I say delete, yes. Now the destroy method does not exist in the category controller. Okay, let's go and create that. Let's open the category controller and in here let's create the method uh, destroy uh, first we need to add the, the bind the category and then i'm going to say category uh, delete okay those notification category deleted successfully just here we don't need to return redirect of the road but return back 
or drag back. And if I come here and refresh, and let's see if we can delete this one here, the first one, which has this name. So delete, if I say yes, now the category deleted successfully. Very good. If I say uh, 50 per page and we navigate here, and if I say delete, just and you can see we can scroll up. This is what I want to show you. If I say delete now, yeah, as you can see, we scroll up. If you want, don't want that, you can add the, if you scroll down, scroll down, here we have the preserve scrolls. So that I'm going to add in the, in the link. So if we add this preserve scroll and when we delete, we are staying down there. We're not scrolling up anymore. So if I say delete now and say yes, yeah, we stay where we are. Now it, this is up to you if you like, if you don't like the same. Uh, let's do the same for the post now and just copy this and open the index page in the post. Here we have the cell for the action and after the link for the edit, let's add this one and let's navigate now to the post. Yeah, we have bind the category, but we need to say post because right now we are we bind in post, not category. And also we need to change the route to be post destroy. Are you sure? Confirmation. Just also the delete post here, not delete category. And I think we are okay. Now if I save, come here, yeah. Go to the post and we have only two uh, posts because we deleted the categories. The categories which has the posts, I think, yeah. Now let's just open the terminal and I'm going to say here, so artisan migrate fresh and I'm going to add the seed plug Okay, now if I refresh, we are not logged in, so we need to go and log in first. Uh, register, sorry. Let's say register, test, test email, and add the password. Now we'll go to categories, and we have 10 of them. We'll go to the post, and we have 10 of them. Good. Let's say per page, 50 per page. And if I scroll down, say delete. If I say yes, now the destroy method does not exist in the post controller. So let's do the same in here. Uh, in the category controller, I'm going to copy this and open the post controller and paste at the end also the destroy just here. We don't use category, but we need to bind post and also post here and say post delete. Okay, uh, the toss notifications, we need to change also here to say post deleted and return redirect back. And if I refresh and we are at the end, as you can see, because we added that the preserve scroll, we're going to stay here. Say delete, yes, and pause deleted successfully, and we are at the end. If if you don't like that, save and refresh. Say delete. If I say yes, now we are scrolling to the top. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy. So we have finished the CRUD for categories and for the post, we can uh, search, filter by category, 
also we can hide the slug or action and so let's hide the action okay change the per page and also have the pagination very easily using the split components if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best and see you in the next one thank you